Now, I already know it. There's going to be people that love this movie and people that hate this movie. There's no in-between. But guess what? You're looking at it. I'm the in-between. Here's Johnny. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. Expecto Patronum! Saltburn stars Barry Keoghan and Jacob E. Lordy and is about a student at Oxford University finds himself drawn into the world of a charming classmate who invites him to his ascetic family sprawling estate for a summer never to be forgotten. From writer and director Emerald Fennell who brought you Promise a Young Woman which she won the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay for comes her next film Saltburn. I saw one trailer and the trailer won me over. I was like when does this come out? And thank goodness my theater got this movie and I sat there all by myself and I got to verbally say everything I wanted to say out loud because I was by myself. And there were many times I did that. Beginning with the positives, this movie is amazing to look at. The cinematography is absolutely gorgeous. There are shots in this movie that are beautiful. The the lighting, the shadowing, the colors. I mean, man, the lighting was so damn good in this movie. I mean, seriously, there are things about this movie I do not like, but I can tell you right now, I could visually watch this movie the entire time with a 1.33 aspect ratio. It really didn't really hit me until like why are we doing this but as the movie kept going I had theories of why that was the the choice of the film but either way the movie looks beautiful I mean guys I, I I'm telling you like I hope this movie gets somewhat cinematography t conversations for the Oscars it was absolutely gorgeous shots in this movie absolutely and the direction was very well done very well helmed with all these big party scenes these mass communication people walking around with our two main characters and she does a fantastic job with her cast and what she's trying to do even though there are some things I definitely don't understand I think for the most part she does an amazing job with this cast Barry Keoghan I mean he just keeps proving that he's one of the best actors working today and this movie he lets it all hang out, physically and literally. I mean, this man does everything in this movie, and he's very, 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 very good in this movie. Jacob Elordi, I've always liked him since Euphoria. I just saw him in Priscilla a few weeks ago, and now we have this movie to add to his resume. He's building his resume. I've always liked him. He's really good in this movie. Rosamund Pike, also really good in this movie. Carrie Mulligan, very small role. All these people in this movie did a fantastic job. Seriously, the, just the production of this movie was really well helmed. The actors, the production design of this, this Saltburn production. you de The setting feels different. Once we get to Saltburn, the movie changes. The tones, the dialogue, the performances in the people in Saltburn feel so odd. But you're intrigued to see what happens. And that's what I was doing the entire time. But the thing is, as the movie kept going... I kind of was disliking the movie more and more. Now, like I said, this movie's not for everyone. I'm telling you right now, there are going to be people that hate this movie, but there's going to be people that love this movie. And like I said, there's a lot of stuff I love. Uh, seriously, cinematography, beautiful. Acting, beautiful. Production design, beautiful. The story is where it gets me. And there are as many times in this movie, I'm like, where are we going? Because we get to Saltburn, we're learning about his family, we're learning about his situation growing up, but there's a bunch of these characters coming in and out of this house that always are impacting our main character, Barry Keoghan, and his decision-making as a character is very, very, very interesting. And I don't want to spoil anything. There are many times, multiple times, I literally was gagging. I went, Bleh, in there certain scenes... Oh my god. And some people are going to be like, that is sexy, exotic, I love it. I love what his character's doing. But the thing is, without spoiling it, there's a plot point at the very end of the movie that is a big reveal. And then you can go back and watch the whole movie, and I question things why he did what he did. And then at the very end, he reveals all this stuff. But the thing is, there's stuff in this movie that I'm just like, you didn't need that. I don't think so. 
I might have to watch it again. But honestly, I wasn't enjoying the story enough to really rewatch the movie. I was liking this movie because I liked looking at it. Seriously, and the acting was really good. And the ending definitely is a good ending. This plot point that's a big reveal to show off certain things in this movie, I like that. I like the plot point. It was really good writing. But my experience for a first time for two hours and seven minutes, there were many times I was gross the fuck out. But I don't know. I feel like I could watch it just because how beautiful it looks. But I just, I wasn't connecting with the story. I felt like it was going nowhere. And then once the ending hits, you're like, that makes sense. But I don't know if I want to experience this movie again. So honestly, I'm in between. I hate things about the story, but I love the look at this movie. And honestly, it's up to you to decide what part you're on. I'm going to give Saltburn a C+. If you get a chance to see this movie in theaters, I would love, I would love to know your thoughts. Without spoiling it, please comment down below. Let me know what you think about this movie because, again, I can see people loving this movie. I just, I, I don't know if I love it. I, I don't know if I kind of, I, I, I like looking at it. I don't know because there's stuff I love. I love, the, dude, the, the cinematography, oh my god, it's so good. But that story and these characters and the dialogue in Saltburn, like, I don't know, man. Do I gotta watch it again? I, it will, it'll be a while before I rewatch it again. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this movie review, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody!